you allude to in the book, Truth Be Told, that the hiring of you and the hiring uh, of Jim Brunzel around the same time in 85 was mm. a very deft play by Vince McMahon to hurt two other territories at the same time. Absolutely. To hurt uh, Minnesota, where uh, Jimmy was uh, tag team champions with Greg Gagne, and they had already taken Hulk Hogan and Bobby the Brain Heenan. And um, so they came to Florida, and I was the main baby face and Florida heavyweight champion. And we were selling out all over Rick Rude and I. Uh, at this particular time, there was other people that we did good business with. Um, but uh, <clears throat> Um, I got a call from Hulk Hogan said, um, you know, Vince wants uh, to know if you want to uh, come up now. Uh, Cause they knew I was waiting to come up because I was going to come up in singles and wrestle for the intercontinental belt. And um, this tag team opportunity came up because Vince wanted to create a really uh, dynamic tag team division, which he did. He did a tremendous job of creating a dynamic ta tag team division in which people were very, very interested. And so you take these tag teams and you put them on the, on the B, um, you had the ABC towns and you'd they'd be in that main event in the B town or the C town or B and C town. And um, you have your Hogan's and on the A town or Macho Man's um, and um, Anyway, uh, um, where was I with Jim? Oh, Vince McMahon hired you and Jim as tactical yeah, so, 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 yeah. So I said, um, sure, you know, and, and I'll, I'll do that on a, uh, I, I, A, I have to know that I'm getting the belts, that we're getting the belts. Um, and, um, you know, discussed money. Everything was good. Everything was a go. They wanted me to come up immediately. Um I mean, immediately, and which wasn't going to allow me to give my two weeks notice to Mike um, and to uh, Florida Championship Wrestling, Championship Wrestling from Florida. And that was the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life because I had never not left without giving my two weeks uh, notice until then. And I remember on the way down to the show in Fort Myers, it was completely sold out and I was going to... Uh, work with uh, Rick Rude, and I think I had already dropped the belt. I'm not sure if I had dropped it or if I still had the belt. I'm, I'm not sure at the second. And uh, I had a flat tire, and so I started thinking to myself, "Wow, I don't feel like going down there now. I'm excited about going to uh, to New York." And um, uh, but I got to call the building. You know, we didn't have cell phones then, but we had the numbers of all the buildings that we were wrestling in. So I called down and left a message to get word to Mike Graham to call me at this particular cell phone right off the interstate after somebody helped me. Uh, I told Mike, I said, Mike, I'm broke down. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm going to be late. <laughs> and um, he said, Brian, there's more people outside than there are inside. Hurry up and please get down here. He said, I'll come up and get you myself. And I said, no, 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 don't do that, please. But I, I, I don't know what they did that night. I wound up missing and Mike didn't speak for me for, to me for a year. Uh, later we became business partners and other things happened, but uh, I went to New York and didn't look back.